Tonight, the Austin School Board is considering handing out $10,000 to employees if they voluntarily resign. The one-time payment would help the district know sooner than later which positions would be available for employees being laid off. But administrators worry about how much this incentive plan would cost. Aaron Argyle joining us live with more on this. Aaron. Well, good afternoon, Chris and Sally. You know, from the get-go, AISD administrators have not supported this incentive plan, saying they would rather invest in teachers staying, not leaving. And these financial effects are being felt here at the Teacher Retirement System headquarters in downtown Austin with the buyouts and layoffs, everything from small local districts like Hutto to larger districts like Dallas. Now, the phones have started ringing off the hook here at the Austin headquarters. I sat on hold nearly 15 minutes Friday just just waiting to talk to someone on the main line. Now, last week, their executive director testified to the Senate Finance Committee. There's talk between 10 to 15,000 more educators will be retiring as a result of layoffs. TRS says there's enough in the pension fund to take care of them, but the health care fund is another story. They don't believe it can handle the spike with lower state contributions and fewer active teachers pay going into the system. The fear is that health care fund running out of money in just two years and health care could get much more expensive for retirees. We are waiting to hear back from the TRS this afternoon. They requested a list of questions earlier today and we have sent that over to them. We're here in live in downtown Austin this afternoon. Aaron Cargyle, KXA in Austin News. All right. Aaron.